In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the screen time feature in iOS 12. But before we start, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos. Screen time is a new feature available on iOS 12 that helps you see, schedule different options to block certain apps or limit the time you spend with them on your iPhone or iPad. iOS 12 is required for this feature. To enable screen time, navigate to Settings, Screen Time, tap Continue, and then tap This is my iPhone. Now the device will start monitoring your usage and will eventually present you with a variety of metrics for app usage. Tap the link to use screen time passcode if you want to secure your screen time settings and spend more time with an app if the set amount of time expires. Type and retype a passcode. Next, turn on the switch to share across devices if you have more than one iOS device and want to record and view your screen time information across them all. Now you can set limits on apps and features you can access and for how long. Tap the entry for downtime and turn on the switch. You can create a time frame in which only certain apps will be allowed. Tap the start time and then end time to set both. To set app limits, tap app limits, add limit. At the category screen, you can either leave the default setting for all apps and categories or select individual apps to limit. After your desired apps are selected, tap add. At the time screen, set the number of hours and or minutes after which the apps in the categories you choose will be blocked from further use. You can also set different limits for different categories by setting them up separately. At the main screen time menu, tap the entry for always allowed. Here you can fine tune your limits to allow certain apps to bypass the block. To add an app to the allowed list, tap its plus sign. If you want to remove an app from the always allow list, tap the minus sign and tap remove. Tap the entry for content and privacy restrictions on the screen time menu. Here, you can allow or disallow specific content, privacy settings, and other changes. Turn on the switch for content and privacy restrictions. Tap the entry for iTunes and App Store purchases from the content and privacy restrictions menu. You can allow or disallow installing apps, deleting apps, and in-app purchases. You can also require a password to make in-app purchases on an app you've already downloaded. If you want to enable or disable specific apps, tap Allowed Apps and toggle apps on or off. If you want to allow or ban specific content from the App Store, the web, or other sources, tap Content Restrictions and pick what you'd like to allow or block. Enable screen time for a child. Now, let's say you want to create limits for a child's account. The easiest way to do this is on your child's iPhone or iPad. Turn on screen time and tap Continue. At the screen asking if the device is for yourself or your child, tap the button for This is my child's iPhone. At the next screen, pick the start and end times for downtime. Tap the button to set downtime. At the screen for app limits, keep the settings for all apps and categories or tap the specific category you want to include. Tap set. Choose the hours and or minutes for the app limit. Tap set app limit. At the content and privacy screen, tap continue. At the parent passcode screen, enter and re-enter a passcode. Screen time then goes into effect. From here, you can scroll down into the settings for downtime, app limits, always allowed, and content and privacy restrictions to make or modify further changes for your child's account. If you set up downtime on your device or your child's device, a message will appear when you have five minutes left. After the time is up, your apps are grayed out. If you try to open a specific app, you're told that you've reached your limit. If you set app limits on your device or your child's device, a message will pop up when any selected apps have five minutes left before they're blocked. After the time is up, you can add more time by entering your screen time passcode and requesting access for an additional period. Monitor app usage. If you are worried about how much you or your child is using certain apps, you can monitor usage directly from screen time. The main screen displays the amount of time spent on each category. Scroll down and see the amount of time for each app, either for today or for the last seven days. Will you be using this feature for your child or yourself?